NTU is the first tribal college to attempt to have uh, engineering programs. Uh, our president actually was, uh, he made the decision that NTU was going to be a four-year engineering institution. All the other tribal colleges that pursued engineering uh, did pre-engineering, so two-year programs. And so that was a big, important decision. This university uh, is one of uh, about 35 uh, tribal colleges. And tribal colleges are distinctive in that they're on uh, tribal nations and their purpose is to serve the members of that tribe. The tribal colleges like Navajo Tech are, is a place-based institution. So we're, our purpose is to serve the Navajo and ultimately as an engineering school now to uh, build engineers that can help the Navajo communities and people. Yeah, the university is important because it provides the engineering education as well as the opportunity for students to be themselves. It's a tribal university. They are encouraged to learn their language, to learn the culture, as well as get a quality engineering education. By producing Navajo engineers and, and ultimately Navajo PhD engineers that can be the experts that represent the Navajo Nation, uh, right now, like for uh, our highways, our power, our water, all those things there's just not enough uh, Navajo engineers. The Navajo Nation is far benefited than they're going out for other places, long way away from their hometown. So while studying here, they will see that their faces, not the other faces, they will see their own community students. And uh, it will be more encouraging for them to communicate each other within their local language. That is a great strength for the students, I strongly believe, for when they go for higher education. If you look around in the background, we have all the gadgets at a bachelor's level. We're learning how to work these machines. I never knew what a caliper was. I didn't know what the maker machine was. I didn't know 3D modeling, and that's incorporated here. They incorporate a lot of the hands-on, and that's one of the reasons why I do like the school here, and I like the way it, it's taught here. It's different. I chose to come to NTU because it's close to home. Um, the cost of getting an education is a lot cheaper going th rather than going to a big university in New Mexico. Navajo Tech is addressing uh, various disadvantages uh, of the Navajo people through education. Uh, being remote and not having industry close by, uh, Navajo Tech is trying to train the next generation workforce to be able to attract industry and grow industry on the Navajo Nation. The more engineers we have, the more people that are able to go out and create things and, and develop new um, items that help us in our lives, we'll create more businesses, they'll, they'll be able to bring back. Even if they go work someplace else, they'll be able to come back uh, later on, because uh, usually Navajo's we want to come back home. It's important for this uh, university to exist because it gives an advantage to all tribal members that want to continue on their education, but they have a fallback of, of not knowing where to go or what next step they, to take. And I believe this school has really helped a lot of um, tribal members and not just with the Navajo Nation, but other tribes around the Navajo Nation. You know, I said we're still the only uh, tribal college with uh, ABET accredited engineering. We became the first uh, tribal college uh, just recently to, that we're going to be starting the first PhD program. And in January, we're going to start the first Master of Science in Electrical Engineering program at a tribal college. After that will be a PhD in Electrical Engineering. And so, because it's important for us to be able to make Navajo engineering faculty, because we want faculty that can inspire other, you know, Navajo children to, to say that, yeah, I, I can be an engineer. I do want to continue to work within the Navajo Nation, and it doesn't matter what I continue to do, but programming is something I really love doing, and to be able to teach it will be something I would be fascinated with too as well. We intentionally want to empower the Navajo to be in control of their own futures.